you know, all of this talk about Ferguson, people having emotions, you know, um, having this really, really big, you know, they want to relate on this. And people making com um, big people making videos about it. One commented, you know, police might have a problem. Police might have a bad day. And the other one replied and says, "Fuck you," because uh, you don't understand. Yeah, maybe having a bad day, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, sure, that's the excuse. But that's not going to be the point, you know. The, and the point is, I'm not going to point about Ferguson. Many people have made videos about this. There are many articles that are exactly, you know, telling what it is, you know, the real deal about these things. And I'm not going to dive into that. It's just these two people that I uh, that I know, not necessarily personally, but I've watched their videos. And one guy said that um, you didn't listen to me because fuck you. You have this. Uh, you have these kinds of. Uh, you have these kinds of violations within traffic, and you don't follow the rules. Therefore, you deserve those tickets. And the other guy who replied before, I mean, the guy who replied to on a video about not all cops are like that. It's a disaster. It's really a disaster. Someone's uh, and the thing is, this one guy was praised to be an intelligent guy. You know, an intelligent bloke. And P, uh, many people, uh, he always says that um, video games, uh, you know, he said that video games ain't worth thinking because it doesn't require an amount of effort and goes on and had how many attacks. You're getting the point. The thing is, if you want to review something, at least have some evidence there. Not just link an R, you know, link a URL that indicates you, the Pipillion principle. You use ad hominem attacks, you use personal attacks, you use you use cost words. You didn't refute his point altogether. And the thing is, yeah, he might he can be wrong. He might be wrong. He will be wrong. But the thing is, you shouting out fuck you saying that these things about his um beating the red light and beating the uh, beating the red light, uh going one hundred ten miles per uh, you know, one hundred ten miles out per hour. Which I don't know, maybe 200, 120, 130 kilometers per hour. Sorry, I use international system. It's just, it's just funny because it didn't, you know, it didn't exactly contribute to the discussion. All he did is just ranting, and that's ranting, and it's, you know, people do that. People, many people do that here on YouTube, ranting about this and that without actually providing on what is really going on, like links or, or no, articles of links. We're having two sides of the story. Now there's a, you know, there might be, you know, there is a accusation in Ferguson, you know, there is, uh, there's a curfew uh, um, happening in Ferguson. And there are, uh, there are actually information out there. There are it's starting to pile up that um, the guy, you know, there might be a possibility that the kid have some have some bad seeds therefore it happened but I'm not going but that's not going to be me it's about these people discussing about this issue this you know this issue I'm kind of numb of this because in the country that I am police you know police brutality and their abuse of power is already had you know have already happened for decades. From the from the constabulary to the national police, you know our transformation to that, our transition, and most of the people here don't trust the police anymore, just because of a few bad you know bad sheep, black sheep within the forces, you know within the police force, and many people are saying, oh, police are just abusive, you know it uh, it undermines the you know it undermines the effort of some police. You know, of other the other policemen who are doing their job, doing their best, taking their lives on the line, and people are discrediting it just because they believe on this one guy. That is just absurd. For me, if you really want to refute, uh, if you, and also shouting, does you know shouting, uh, you know speaking at the top of your voice doesn't make your argument that powerful. You might be in panic, you want might be show emotion on it, but you know sh you know. Shouting, screaming, like you care, you care, 
does not make your argument even better when you actually use ad hominem attacks when you actually use cuss words you can cuss every time now and then but it doesn't mean that it's going to add anything to the argument just because you're ranting that doesn't mean you're concerned you might say that uh, uh these things don't matter because there are more things that they're uh, you know going to happen in this world take note i'm just one person you know me changing things in the world world that's not going to happen peace that's not going to happen you know um, you know world peace that's not going to happen it uh, people have wished it many times on christmas but it's not going to happen because as a species we are we are going to demand conflict time and time again just as our our predecessors for that and um abuse of power uh you know absolute power corrupts absolutely it happens to just as the leader of you know every dictator ever every manipulator ever you might be concerned that's a good thing you might be concerned about the world but the thing is saying that one thing doesn't require amount of thinking and goes on you cannot actually you know you don't show any evidences or references to what you're saying to refute the other you know the other side and cousin ad hominem attacks doesn't help your case anyway i'm homer and you know what it's really good yeah i sure manchester united lost uh lost yesterday against swansea and I'm really pissed oh well we lost at old trafford that's even worse see you later <laughs>